All right, Robert here. Um, wanting to just do a real quick uh, update um, on the Hanes. And just actually, real quick, I'm just <laughs> sure we've got a lot of legs here for these squares, pedal wires, you see here. Um, I am about, I'm making repairs on these things. And like I mentioned to you before, um, these square grands are pretty rough. And I'm not, uh, I don't frequently do squares, but I do from time to time. And uh, you can see some spots here I filled. And the big thing with these is uh, there are chunks of wood missing. So you can see here I'm having to blend in gaps, gaps missing just from over years. I mean, you imagine 125, 130 years. Uh, this wood is it doesn't have a doesn't have to give excuse for uh, some of the temperamental behavior. But I wanted to show you here in particular. Uh, if you look at uh, some ferrule. Now modern pianos have a different style of ferrule than this. They're brass and they're usually in a square shape. But you know, look at this uh, ferrule here, carved out of wood. This this leg is hand carved, one piece of wood. Or uh, in some cases, uh, it'll be two or three pieces that are joined together and then carved. Um, but you can see the the shape. This is the shape of this ferrule here. Well, you can also see that there's a section missing. And what I want to do here is show you how I'm going to shape this. Uh, so what I've done here, is I've, for support of the epoxy that I'm going to be using, I've run some deck screws in the wood. They're going to act as anchor and support. So if you think of concrete, you see rebar and concrete, that's what I'm doing here. Um, and the reason this thing has been broken is, I mean, this piano, these, these squares are anywhere from seven, eight hundred pounds up to 1,200 pounds. So when they're being set up or let down, if uh, these ferrules are not supported or padded in some way, they're going to break. And, and so this is what you're seeing here. So I've got some epoxy putty mixed, and I am getting ready to do me some sculpting now, basically. And um, I'll shoot another video afterward if I have some time. These pianos are they're due back. And I've got to get this done. So um, if I can, I will shoot another video to show you the finished product. I've also got some some other parts. Uh, one of the lids that you saw in a previous video that that I joined with biscuits, it's done. And um, uh, it's, it's, it's even hard to detect that it's, it was ever broken. And I'll get a video of that if I have time. But I uh, just wanted to show you these. And uh, if you want to comment, please do. Um, you know, obviously here at Beaver's Piano TV, right below the screen that you're looking at, uh, and comment right there, or over at Twitter.com if you have a Twitter account, at Beaver's Piano. And uh, if you just like watching the videos, please uh, do so. There are a bunch of other videos here. Uh, come right back, and uh, you'll see some more stuff. I uh, mentioned before that uh, we've got several Steinways uh, and just keep an eye out over the next uh, four to six weeks. We're going to be doing a full restoration on a Steinway M. Uh, we've got a Steinway A that we're going to be doing some work on. Uh, we've got a Steinway L that uh, we're going to be doing some work on. got a Model K. We also have a Model 1098. Um, and uh, we have a second M that's going to be receiving a full restoration. So uh, I'm going to try to be a little bit more um, a little bit more thorough uh, in the before and after and get you some video of these pianos being played as well. Uh, we also have got two Kanabi Grands. Um, I have a Baldwin uh, model. Um, it's a six foot two uh, model, the predecessor to a model L. I forget the, uh, I think it's called a model I we'll be doing. And uh, there'll be more Victorian pianos as well, so we're pretty busy. 
So keep an eye out for some more stuff coming up. And uh, like I said, I'm going to try to get a little bit more thorough, uh, a little bit more descriptive. Videos probably end up being a little bit longer, but you have a little bit more detail involved. You'll see some stringing and hammer installation and uh, maybe some action regulation and that sort of thing. A lot of that I'm not videoing right now because of the time constraints. But uh, you'll see a lot more of that stuff coming up. So keep an eye out, and uh, thanks for watching.